Bandaholics Rejoice, the one and only is back with yet another band review. Now before we begin, some of you may be a little confused. That's right, being the huge dummy that I am, I thought I had reviewed all of the available fall styles until some of you guys brought it to my attention in the comments that I had forgotten the sport bands. Shame on me, I know, especially seeing as how the sport bands are the true OGs. When most casuals think about the Apple Watch, I would bet money that a majority imagine the watch with a sport band on. It's actually also the most common band type worn. But I guess this is a small little happy accident seeing as how it now seems that Apple is making a tradition by not releasing winter or summer bands. What a disgrace by Tim Apple and the squad over at Apple HQ. I guess they just don't like money, but one thing is for sure. Bandaholic's bank accounts sure as hell are happy, including mine. So anyways guys, before we close out the year, I wanted to showcase the recently released Fall 2022 sport bands that should serve as a guide for anyone looking to pick some of these up in 2023. Presumably, we should see a fresh new batch in spring, so as always, you know I got you guys covered, and in homage to my mistake, the first style of bands for the spring 2023 release will be the sport bands. As always guys, make sure to stick around until the end of the video for a chance at winning an all new sport band featured in this video of your choosing. And this time around, there will be two winners instead of one on this video. Alright ladies and gents, without further ado, let's get this party started. Alright, alright, boys and girls, I actually am very happy to review these sport bands. I missed as I'm itching for all new bands, especially some new ultra bands. We have the brand new sport bands released a couple months ago, and most of these colors are absolute fire. If these videos are useful to you, please consider dropping a like down below. I understand some people do not have an Apple store within reasonable driving distance. That's why I like to showcase the bands in different lighting, so you can get a better feel for how they truly look like in real life, and not just Apple's picture-perfect photography. Plus, you also get to see them modeled on a variety of different casing colors and materials just to give you a better feel for them. Okay, so we now have four brand new colors this time around. So first, let's begin with one of my favorites, Elderberry. Sounding like the final band boss off some kind of video game, Elderberry perfectly encapsulates the aura of fall. It's sleek, it's subtle, it's darkish, and gives off a very mysterious yet attractive feel. I personally totally dig how purples pair up with the gold stainless steel watches, but the main features of Elderberry is that it has this very distinct dark cherry color, only that it throws in elements of deep ultraviolets splashed with hella dark shades. Outdoors is where the band truly shines as it seems to glisten while on the wrist and when its true colors are most visible. Indoors and especially under low lighting conditions, it's still distinguishable as purplish, but it seems to fade away only slightly. I absolutely love when Apple gives us purple or ultraviolet bands, and this one here specifically reminds me of something like Plum from prior generations, only that this one is a lot darker. Overall, I think most bandaholics would totally dig this band, and is one that I think pairs up quite well with any band color or casing. I give it a solid 8.8 .8 out of 10. Next up we have Slate Blue, a light metallic blue color that isn't bright and in your face and actually seems like it had some of its saturation sapped out of it. This isn't to say that's a bad thing, but it's definitely not a bright and bouncy blue, that's for sure. Instead, it aims to portray a calmer atmosphere by providing enough blues to make it distinct, but also, depending on the lighting, at times appears more gray than usual. This band also seems to have this interesting property where it's not bright, but it's not a dark band either. It's perfectly situated near the middle in terms of the brightness scale. And because of this fact, this band also seems to pair well with just about any case in color or material. Now the only reason I don't give this band a higher rating is because it seems like we already have a ton of muted blues just like this. Therefore not making it as unique as some other bands, but that's just me probably nitpicking and so thus, I still give this one a passing grade coming in with a C- at 7.1 out of 10. Up next is Product Red and wait hold on a minute, some of you may be saying, damn another one? Yeah, at this point, we're currently on the 6th generation Product Red Sport Band, believe it or not. For those true bandaholics deeply invested like myself, this all new Product Red isn't as blood red or slightly wine red as some of the prior offerings and instead is most similar to the 4th gen Product Red Sport Band. 
The 4th gen product red was definitely brighter but had a distinct almost 1% splash of oranges. This one doesn't offer any hints of oranges or pinks for that matter or anything like that and rather is simply just a pretty bright product red band. Thankfully for you all, I have several of the past gen product red bands here to compare and contrast. The newest 6th gen product red is over on our right hand side and as you can see, it's brighter than some of the deeper reds but doesn't bleed into orangish territories like the previously mentioned 4th gen product red. It's your typical red band with the exposure turned up just slightly and the brightness turned up about another half notch. Obviously, this band will pair best with any of the aluminum red Apple watches, but honestly, I kind of dig how this looks like on Starlight. Something about the combination just seems to be right. The band is decent, and for lovers of fierce and frenetic bands, this one will do you just fine. I give it a solid 7.6 out of 10. And finally, our last new color, Succulent, consisting of a very light green color that combines a minty green kind of color only heavily dialing back the saturation and throwing in some very subtle light blues. It's kind of like taking some hints from lighter cactus colors, you know, ones that seem to feature a slight amount of blues in there, but not entirely all the way there. This one certainly is an interesting band for the sheer fact that it's one of those rarities where it's clearly trying to be a bright band, but it's not going to blind people at the same time either. No one would ever say this is a dark band, because it's not, but it's also not a vibrant one. I think you guys get the theme here. I quite like this one, and I tend to think it pairs best with the lighter casing colors. However, for a deep contrast, this paired up with Midnight isn't a bad pairing either. I give it a stellar 8.2 out of 10. And before we end, a few honorable mentions for the three other bands on Apple's website that for some strange reason have that new tag above them, even though they're not new. I ordered them anyway just to check, but sure enough, they are identical to prior releases. I'm talking about Midnight, Starlight, and White, which I think this was done for the Apple Watch SE 2nd Gen because think about it. The 2nd Gen SE comes in three colors only, Midnight, Starlight, and Silver. So, I mean, I guess it kind of makes some sense. Not only that, even Bandbrite, this super awesome app designed just for band lovers, also does not label these as new bands. But hey, here they are, Starlight being this light cream-colored band with just a dash of brown that clearly pairs best with the Aluminum SE or Series 8 of the same name. It's a light band that pairs best with light encasing colors. Then there's Midnight, which is this ultra deep navy, almost black looking band that sets itself apart from the standard black by having a bigger character of its own. The deep navies here really make a difference and especially while outdoors where the blues are more pronounced. And then there's the standard white band, which is exactly what you'd expect. A white band, the same color as your typical printing paper, white. But just like black, it's really versatile and you really cannot fudge this up with any pairing. It's just like with clothing. White and black clothes just seem to pair well with just about everything. Just do please realize that the white color may show smudges or dirt a lot more than darker bands, but that's kind of a given. And just like that, Bandaholics, we got a small itch out with no winter release, but now time for the giveaway. Since I messed up and skipped these, I'll be drawing two names so that two distinct winners can take home an all new sport band. And the entry requirements are the same as always. Number one, make sure to subscribe with bell notifications. It seems my goal of reaching 60k is now within reach, so if you could, help me out by helping me reach my goal. Number two, follow me over on my socials as that's where I'll announce the two giveaway winners. Since this is only one video and not a batch of videos, I'm giving viewers two weeks to enter the giveaway. So I will announce the winners on Friday, January the 13th, and I'll announce the winners on Twitter, Instagram, as well as TikTok probably. And lastly, since 2022 is about to end, drop a comment down below letting me know what positive difference you want to make within your life in 2023. I know it sounds ultra cliche, trust me, but I love this time of year as it's a nice time of self-reflection. What I want to do is spend more time with my little nephew and family. As always, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you who tune into my videos. I may have one final video planned before the year officially ends, but if I don't upload another one till 2023, I hope everyone watching has a very fun, warm, but above all, safe new year with friends and family. I have a lot of stuff planned for the channel for 2023, so I'm really excited and I'm so thankful for the tremendous support my channel has received all year long. Until next time, guys, I'm clocking out for now, but I cannot wait to catch you all in my next video.